Alright. Stop right there. I've had enough of this. <laughs> Baby gel. This kid has me chill. Kara! <laughs> Once again. What? Once again, 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 please! Once again, once again, once again! Don't think that's very good. Can I do? Yeah! Oh, hello, Sans. Hey, Dory. Where's Frisk? They were with you, were they not? Yeah, about that. <laughs> How do I put this? Pep and I might have lost Frisk when we were at the mall three hours ago. Dory. You lost my child. I'm a dead man. Sans! I found a human! They've been helping random last minute shoppers this whole time! <sighs> Love to die another day. Yeah! 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 <laughs> ah! Here, let me clean you up. Ew, ew, ew! Stop! It's cold! What did I tell you about killing monsters just because you're bored? Not to do it. So? But, but uh, uh, Kara! I told you to stop blaming your imaginary friend for everything. But... Now bring him back before I give you a bad time. Okay. What am I gonna do with this kid? He's still dead! Hold on, it takes a few seconds! Tell your council that we'll stay in this forest if that's what it takes to be free. But they can't have risk. Huh? Mercy! <sighs> Got it. Uh, understood. Good call. Very well. If that is how it is going to be, I have delivered my message, and it is no matter to me what decision you monsters make. You have not heard the end of this. I'll be back to tell you of the Council's conclusion regarding you and your... people. And I doubt that you will be pleased with their answer. I bid you a good night. Welp. That went well. Sans, you little- Um... What? I mean, what is it, Pap? Err... Uh, well, I suppose I, the Great Papyrus, should go and get the human child something to eat! I I'll go get Frisk some dinner! That's a good idea, bro. Come along, human! Our friend Alphys has probably got something warm cooking over the fire, just for you! You coming? It's right, kiddo. I'll come join you guys in a minute. In a minute. Undyne, wait! Are you insane? Are you trying to start another war? What was I supposed to do, Undyne? Let him take the kid? No. Please, do not fight between yourselves. For if we do not stand together, then we will surely fall. The strain of this situation is starting to get to each one of us. Things may not be as bleak as they appear. And no one is questioning the reasons behind your actions, Sans. But I am afraid Undyne is right, and that the humans will not be pleased with our lack of cooperation. Then let them be. I will not lose another child, Asgore. Uh, of course not. All I am saying is that this could turn out very badly. Don't be so sure. Like Pap's been telling me, we just got to have some hope. There's a lot more of that going around than when we were trapped underground. I don't see why we have to stand for this. We have the right to be here. We have a right 
to live wherever we darn well please. Why can't we just force our way into the city? From what we understand, humans don't have magic anymore. Why can't we just move in and tell the humans to deal with it? Because whether humans understand it or not, they're still far more powerful than we are. Just because they've forgotten their magic doesn't mean they don't have it. Worse than that, they're fearful and full of generations worth of stories and myths about us. None of them good. It kind of makes sense they see us as a threat. Heh. <laughs> I mean, to them, we must be like a nightmare come true. Of course, a bunch of frightened, determination-filled humans isn't my idea of a good time either. The city's overrated anyway. <sighs> You think they will cause trouble? What can they do to us without the power of their magicians? Numbers has a lot to do with it. We are a small handful of monsters in a world governed by man, and they know it. They are taking the initiative, trying to show they are the ones in control. That is why they have kept us out here in the forest. Why they have taken away all our weapons and armor, even Papyrus' less than threatening battle body. They are establishing where they expect us to stand in relation to them, as under them, and under their power. Um, guys, you know I was thinking, there's a whole lot of world out there. The humans in Abbot City obviously don't care for us, and living under them might be worse than living under a mountain. If they won't let us be free here, truly free, then why don't we just go somewhere where we can be? We're not living under a mountain anymore. We're not trapped. Those people don't own us. If we leave before Mr. Bad News comes back, we might get a chance at a happy ending after all. You mean, run? Well, I don't know about you, but I think there's been enough bloodshed and hate between us and them. If us being here prompts them to go back to their old ways, then it would be kind of foolish to stay. Like tempting fate, a repeat of history. Sands, that is not a bad suggestion. In fact, it may be our only solution. While still having its risks, if we can get away with it, it would solve all our current problems. Not to mention, it would be hilarious to leave those snobby humans in the dust. If not for our sake, and for Frisks, I would do anything for that child. She risked everything for us. It only feels right that we should be willing to do the same. And I know the others feel the same way. The kids made a lot of friends and saved a lot of lives. If saving her means leaving the city, I'm sure they'll be all for it. Agreed. Then I suppose we had better decide this now. All in favor of leaving and making a life someplace else? Show of hands. Absolutely. Heck yeah! Then it is decided. We leave tomorrow. Great. I'll go tell Pap, Alphys, and the kiddo. Oh, yes. Of course. Indeed. Thank you, Sevens. No problem. We got a skeleton done tonight, but now I'm bone tired. Night, guys. Good night, dear. Please send Frisk to my tent when she has finished eating, alright? You got it, Tori. Undyne, spread the word that we will be leaving tomorrow by noon. We will head back over the mountain and down the other side, away from the city. Yes, sir! Uh, uh, Frisk, buddy, what are we doing here? We- I think we went the wrong way, kiddo. This- this is the barrier. This can't be where you wanted to go, right? Right? Do you trust me? Do- do I trust you? I- kid, I want to. More than anything, I want to believe that you're not gonna just snatch it all away. I want to believe this is it, and we can finally be happy. I want to believe this is it, and the nightmare's over. But I can't. Just- just do it. This is where your last save was made, and this is where you can re reset. There's nothing I can do to stop you. Just get it over with. Please, just do it. Sans. My... 
my soul? Sans is up there! Are you sure? I mean, we passed that peak hours ago. I'm sure! Hey! Papyrus, wait! Ugh! Why can't things ever be easy? Find some place up ahead to take shelter and wait for us. We'll be back with Frisk and Sans as soon as we can. Dang it, Sans! You and that little squirt better be okay. Mm. No! Wait, I changed my mind! No! Please, wait! Mm. Mm. Ah! Huh? It's, it's gone. I did it. <laughs> you... you d didn't do it. What? You... you didn't re reset. Mm -mm. But you could have. Mm -hmm. I... I... I can't. I d don't understand y you. Hey... No more resets, okay? Oh. <laughs> That was the last one, wasn't it? You brought me all, all the way up here to show me that you were willing to give up the last opportunity to reset. J just for my sake. You really, this is... I love you, Sans. <laughs> I, I love you too, kid. Huh? We should probably head back to the others, huh? It'd be a crying shame to spend any more time alone up here in the rain. <laughs> oh, oh, you like that, huh? Well, I assure you, this has been an enlightening experience. <laughs> I think it's time to bolt. <laughs> and Frisk? Hmm? Thanks. If it means more than I can... Just thanks. Oh, let's go, kiddo. I'm sure we're already on Tori's fine and lecture list. <laughs> and frankly, I'm not sure what I'm gonna tell her. Oh, sorry, not done here yet. Frisk, what's up? <gasps> Kiddo? Kid? Howdy! Long time no see, trash bag! <laughs> <laughs>